welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how to do water effect on your tumbler I have a customer that wants a cup with just water that she don't want ocean or lake or anything she just wants water and I did this one right here if you can see I did this one earlier today and I thought, well, I should just do a video and show you how I did that. Okay, so white alcohol ink. I have my blue. This is, I'm trying to think because it says Forget Me Not. It's like a, like a knockoff brand on Amazon that I got. It's like a hair, I would say it's like a Caribbean blue. This is indigo, and then I have my teal, which it says mermaid. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and epoxy my whole cup, and then I'll show you what else I do. Get it all smeared on here. And don't forget your bottom. And if you have any on your gloves, just wipe it back in there. Just lightly go over it. Don't put no pressure on it. Just lightly slide your finger across it. And get around the bottom. Okay. So then I do that. And then I go ahead and I'll get my heat gun. Give it some heat. To really get this epoxy moving. Okay. And then I go ahead and start doing this. I add a lot more epoxy down to, on the bottom. And it's going to drip some off, which is okay. And then drizzle up here. You want it where you're putting your water at. You definitely want a lot more movement with your epoxy. Don't forget the bottom, which I just get my finger and put a bunch of it down here and let it spin. Okay, and just make sure you got a good bit on here how far you want it to go up so you have more movement up there and so the epoxy can spread okay all right so i still have probably about five more mls left over give or take i'm gonna try to scrape some of the epoxy off my glove as much as i can just in case i need it Okay, so I got that one there, and I'll go ahead and heat it a little bit. Not too much. And then I'll get my indigo and start dropping it. And I go heavy on this. Don't forget the bottom. Just let it go over it.
Hopefully you guys can see this. Because <laughs> I'm left-handed, so I'm try I can do it with my right hand. So you guys can see. So you pretty much saturate the whole bottom pretty much with the, this blue. Okay. I'm going to get the bottom. Make sure you shake these up too before you put them on. Just so the inks are. Okay, and then here's the, the next blue that I use. Don't shake it like I just did. Like that. And I just squirt it in different spots. In the bottom. Definitely want to get it up here because you want that lighter blue to pop. Okay. And then I'll add just a little bit of this teal. Not too much. I want it to not look like the ocean. Okay. All right. So next is your white, which I want to shake this up a little bit more. This white is okay, this Amazon one. I prefer the Ranger white. I just think this is a little bit watered down, but it, what I want it to do works. Um, if you're doing like the waves for like a beach or anything, I prefer the Ranger or that Pinata. So I'll go ahead and do the white on here. And And I keep them more at the top. Keep letting them run off. Okay. And then I'll do a little here and there. I don't got any up here. Okay. Down here. Get some on that bottom. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and get my heat gun again. Get it real. See how it's really running off, which is okay. You don't mind wasting epoxy, which I don't, but it is what it is. Because you're only working with half the bottom of the cup, so you really don't have much time to uh, get the heat gun going and then doing the bottom. Okay, so you just get it moving. It's really trying to run off there. See how it's starting to do that? That's from putting the whites up there, getting it to move a little. And if you don't think you got enough color in it, you can go back and add more because, like I said, you put plenty of epoxy on the bottom half of this cup. So it'll mix really well. Okay. See how the splashes are starting? That's what you want. Just gotta watch because you don't want it to run like that too much. See how that is? That's what you want. Now, if you want to add waves to it, then you want to um, definitely make sure you got a good white 
and then you do the same thing you touch up you hit those white spots for this but she wants it look like there's wa water on the outside of the cup so that's what I'm doing keep messing with it See, look how good that looks. This looks like splash of water. Love it. Now, if it doesn't continue doing that, like on this side, I have another option you can do. So I can get it on one side, and sometimes I can't get it on the other side. Then you just play with it. Twirl it, spin it, let it spread a little, up, back down. <laughs> That's all you can do. Now, if you went super heavy on this whole cup, this would spread probably a lot faster, and you don't want that. If you want it the whole cup like that, then yeah. But you want the heavy part where the alcohol, where you want the water. One. All right, I think that's good. So I'm gonna put this back on there. Okay, so here's the other thing you can do to get more splashes. Use a straw and make sure your inside of your mouth's like dry. So you don't spit saliva on the cup. <laughs> okay, so I like that. <clears throat> so let's see. See how that looks? And if you feel like you, like, I got a couple little spit marks, so what I do is I change my straw. And try to dry my mouth. <laughs> See how that looks? Isn't that so cool looking? You can even come down here. Just keep messing with it. Just giving it different little waves inside. What I do is I try to like pinch my lip on the straw. So it's not fully in my mouth. So then try to stop. Any of the saliva trying to come out? Trying to get it to where you see. Okay. So I think that looks good. I think I want to do is try to move some of this. There you go. Might be a couple little.
spots like air bubbles so I just get my popsicle stick and just tap them or you can get your heat gun but I rather not add no more heat because I like how it is okay so there you go I just want to show a short little video of how I do my water effect on here um, she just wanted it to look like just regular water I know drinking water is clear, but it's kind of hard to do on a cup. I have another idea, but I have to order more alcohol inks for it. More lighter blue colors, but I think this looks really good. So if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys get the test this out and see how you do. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.